Hi there, I'm Brian Waller, President of the Technology Association of Iowa, and welcome to Tech Brew AM, presented by Nutanix. Tech Brew AM is a program put on by TAI where we talk to Iowa technology executives, learn a little bit about their role and their journey to get there. Uh, before we talk to LaVon, uh, with us today is Mike Ryder, who is Enterprise Account Manager with Nutanix. Uh, I, I have to ask, what does Nutanix do, Mike, and what's your role? Brian, my role is an Enterprise Account Executive, and I work with businesses around the Des Moines area. And Nutanix is a leading provider of hyperconverged software for the data center. And according to Gartner and Forrester, we're leading the pack today. Nutanix takes the public cloud experience of simplicity, flexibility, and ease of use on a fractional consumption model and applies it in the environment wherever you want your data to reside. Nutanix offers a complete solution to save you both time and budget dollars by applying automation and orchestration to your data center. And we help customers simplify and modernize their data centers. Well, Nutanix is a great supporter of the Iowa tech industry and specifically Tech Brew AM. Why is it important that you guys sponsor and partner with us to bring these great conversations with Iowa tech execs? Uh, tech Brew is a great event, event Brian. Um, Nutanix believes in supporting local technology events that bring people together to foster relationships, networking and learn from one another. Well, would you do the honor and introduce our esteemed guest today, Mr. LaVon Hooks? I'd be honored to. A talented leader with over 20 years of experience in information technology, LaVon Hooks has built his career by leading in change management and orchestrating complex problem solving for enterprise and legacy business process and systems. LaVon joined Come and Go in 2020 as the chief information officer to lead the company's digital transformation journey and drive innovation for both customers and associates. Prior to his role with Come and Go, Hooks held senior technology leadership role, roles focused on application development, program management, and security integration. His experience includes prior roles with Accenture, PricewaterhouseCoopers, and JP Morgan, delivering large technology projects across diverse business sectors. He was previously the Chief Information Officer for Global Corporation, Corporate Solutions at Jones LaSalle, Lang LaSalle, where his primary responsibilities include driving the strategic growth and direction for the corporate solutions line of business globally. Please help me and welcome Chief Information Officer of Come and Go, LaVon Hooks, to Tech Brew AM. Thank you, Mike. Well, welcome, LaVon. I am really excited to talk to you today. Uh, we have the first question we ask everybody the same time. What is your hometown in high school? Hometown is Chicago, Illinois, high school, Luther High School South. Very nice. So um, we want to know what the CIO of Come and Go, uh, I know you guys are under digital transformation and you were pegged to lead that digital transformation, but prior to Come and Go, can we kind of talk about your journey and what some different roles that led you to this point? Sure. I started my career as a developer at Accenture, um, developing different products for different clients. Um, through the course of that, I've developed a significant technical foundation, but I also found the business aspects of it very interesting as well. So as I continued my career as a manager and moving up the ranks in different techno in the technology organization, um, I started to learn more about businesses and that really intrigued me. So tying both of those together and being able to take my technical acumen over to the business side was very helpful. Um, from Accenture, I went to PricewaterhouseCoopers, uh, serving in a manager role. Um, further down the line, I worked at J.P. Morgan Chase as an executive director leading large government and commercial uh, application development. Uh, spent some time at JLL as the global CIO for Corporate Solutions, our largest line of business. Again, leading the strategic direction from a technology perspective and tying technology direction to the overall business strategy. So uh, CIO of Come and Go, I know from being from Iowa, we know Come and Go, uh, you know, growing up here. So what is the role of CIO of Come and Go, which we all, I think, take for granted in the state of Iowa sometimes? Oh, definitely. I think we have to take a step back and talk about our culture. Please. One of our main pillars is to ensure that we make the days of our customers and our associates better. So my role is really taking technology and marrying it to the overall business strategy and ensuring that technology integrates and helps make the days of our customers and our associates better. So we uh, interviewed Tanner Krause, the CEO of Come and Go, a few months back in this forum. He has glowing things to say about you of recruiting you here. What was so special about Come and Go to get you to leave Chicago and come to Des Moines, Iowa and take this journey with not only Come and Go, but the Krause family? The culture. 
The culture is key. Our ability to focus in on making sure that we drive a culture that's inclusive, collaborative, and, and again, using those pillars to ensure that we're helping our customers and helping our associates each day, we're very key to me making this selection. I think when people say, here, the CIO of Come and Go, but you're responsible for much more than that when it comes to the Krauss Group. Can you talk about how dynamic that role and that sort of enterprise is along with your job at Come and Go? Sure, along with the significant amount of work we do at Come and Go, we also have entities in Italy, uh, a winery, Vietti, as well as we just acquired a soccer team, Parma Calcio. And I am responsible for the strategic direction of those organizations as well and providing technology support as needed. What does digital transformation look like at Come and Go? So I think everyone has a different definition of digital transformation. Mm -hmm. For us, especially you think about the environment that we're in and everyone wanting to go to a more touchless environment, digital customer experience for us means the journey of the customer from the pump to the store, to the register, and back to their cars. So how can we digitize or systematically improve that experience as you come into the store and find the items that you want and get you out seamlessly back to your car and on with your day? So digitization to us at Come and Go means the ability to improve the journey of a customer throughout the store and back to our pumps. Uh, in kind of reading a little bit about you, you said you're data-driven when making decisions. So uh, put your hat, come and go hat on here. What data are you collecting and how are you making business decisions based on that data? Yeah, that's a great question. So we're looking at the data of transactions throughout the store and at the pump and identifying ways to enhance our overall loyalty experience, our marketing experience, and really moving from uh, data where we already know the answers to predictive analytics where we can drive future decisions as we go throughout our journey. Uh, as you look back at your career um, so far, uh, is there a, an accomplishment, a technology solution, or something that you're really proud of? Yes. Uh, while at J.P. Morgan, I led an initiative where we partnered with the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. Uh, when you think about citizenship, uh, you think of there are over 80 different applications which you can apply for citizenship. We developed a platform to do the initial decisioning and processing of fees for those applications. Um, so very data driven. And at that point it was cutting edge because we were using OCR and ICR technology to take the data from the forms and digitize that data. Um, why it was so impactful for me is we were impacting the day-to-day -day lives of people applying for citizenship. We ex expedited the process by putting the forms into a digital format, getting them out to the adjudicators quicker. Um, and as well as processing those fees. So development of that application and impacting day-to-day -day lives of people applying for a citizenship was very impactful for me. Wow, impactful is correct, uh, uh, I would say so. Um, what's something you've learned this week? Uh, so it's interesting, we had a major software release this week in, in our organization, and it was all done virtually. And what I learned, you know, usually we would stand up a command center, we would have a bunch of folks in the room and we would sort of collaborate together. Um, I learned that I really miss the human aspect of what we do and being able to have human contact with folks mm -hmm. and have that eye-to-eye -eye contact. I'm looking forward to the time when we're back at that phase, but we're not. Um, and I also learned that we function very well in a virtual world. Uh, we had a very successful release this weekend. Um, but again, uh, more of a realization that I missed that, that, that camaraderie that you build by being in the office together. I'm sure starting a new career in a new company, um, and you talk about culture. Can you, rep yes. can you replicate culture virtually, or how has it been kind of starting a new career here and a new job in this virtual environment? Yeah, I think it really comes back to the people. I, it's been very successful for me being uh, since joining Come and Go. We have a very collaborative culture, which we talked about, and everyone really looks to work well together. While we would prefer to be in the office, we're making the best of this virtual environment. What would someone say about you that reports to you? Uh, that I'm a service-driven leader. Uh, I realize that my role is to support my organization in any way possible, um, that I'm very collaborative, and uh, my technical foundation allows me to relate to all different aspects of our technical, or technical organization and the challenges that we uh, deal with on a daily basis. As you sit here right now in the uh, beautiful Come and Go headquarters in downtown Des Moines, you look back, who's been impactful in your career? Are there people that stand out to help you get to where you're at? 
Definitely. Uh, but I would take a step back before I even started my career, my parents. My parents owned a small business, and they really taught me that work ethic and the importance of appreciating the people, not only that work for you, but your customer. So I would start with my parents uh, first and foremost, and then uh, managing directors and partners through my consulting career that really helped me see the importance of understanding business along with your technical expertise. Mm -hmm. What were you passionate about as a kid? Um, Besides, you know, playing, doing normal mm -hmm. activities, I, I think I had a real interest in learning. So uh, mathematics was one of my favorite subjects. So focusing on mathematics and being very passionate about learning was uh, one of the things I really enjoyed as a child. Uh, it's that old cliche question, chief information, or ch chief information officer at Come and Go, what keeps you up at night in this role? So I, I think the question of, what haven't we done or what can we do better? Mm -hmm. uh, as an organization that's innovating and continuing to look for ways for technology to lead the way to that innovation, as you know, Brian, technology is changing uh, around us current, consistently. Mm -hmm. How can I continue to drive innovation for our organization? How can I continue to look at ways to provide data to drive success for our organization? All right, uh, we're going to change into some little bit lighter questions for you. And I know you're a busy guy. We'll get you out of here. Um, but give advice to 18-year-old Levon as he's going off to college. As you go off to college, <laughs> you'll have a lot of opportunities to find things you're passionate about. Mm -hmm. Find things that you love and that you're passionate about, and that career will evolve from there. Uh, secondly, always remember to treat uh, people that you meet the way you want to be treated mm -hmm. and be nice to everyone. And lastly, travel. The more you travel and see the world, the more you'll have a perspective of things that are larger in the world than what we see today. I know we, we talked prior, you have a, a couple little ones, nine years old. Is that the advice you'll give them at 18 as well? I hope so. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> um, all right, a song plays every time you walk into a room. What is that song? Um, I would have to say We Are the Champions by Queen <laughs> yeah. because I always like to feel that I'm a champion and I'm leading the way when I come in. Uh, well, I'll give you the caveat here. You do not have to answer this, but what is your favorite curse word? Uh, I would have to say the S word. Okay. Um, it rolls up relatively easily okay. when we're in a bad situation. All right. Uh, people right now are binge watching a lot of stuff. Is there any shows that you've been binge watching during this pandemic? Well, Ozark. I'm a big fan of Ozark. I, can't, I think the new season will start here in the fall. Mm -hmm. Big fan of that. And NBA basketball. Uh, with the bubble, yeah. it's really good to see the uh, sports continue through the pandemic. Yeah, it's it was needed, that's for sure. I'm a big NBA fan myself. Um, so you could have dinner with anyone, alive or deceased. Who would that be? Uh, I'd have to say Elon Musk. We talked earlier about innovation mm -hmm. and everything he's doing with SpaceX to Tesla. He's the leader in innovation right now. I would love to have the opportunity to pick his brain. What's your favorite word? Uh, excellence. What's your least favorite word? Uh, underachiever. Uh, and underachiever, sorry. Go, go ahead. ahead, no, please finish. I just say underachiever because I, I think it's all about effort, right? If you put the effort in, you will never get the label of underachiever. Yeah, sounds like you've been talking to my father. He says the <laughs> same thing about, same thing, same thing to me. Uh, comedy club or dance club? I say dance club. I love music. What sound or noise do you love? Uh, hearing the happiness of my children. What sound or noise do you dislike? Chicago traffic, because that means we're stuck in traffic for hours. <laughs> well, you won't see that here. You'll get to cornfields before you get to traffic. So, um, all right, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the weirdest, how weird is Levon? I'd have to say an eight. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, what are you not very good at? Uh, it's going to sound strange, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate. E-learning. I mm. am not the best e-learning teacher. Mm. Uh, I have a great deal of respect for educators before the pandemic and a significant amount post-pandemic because I can't imagine having a room of 20 children as I struggle to teach my two. Yeah. Uh, room, desk, or car, which do you clean first? Uh, I'm a bit of a neat freak, so I would have to say my desk. Yeah. All right. Most of that. Well, Levon Hooks, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today. Welcome to the Iowa technology industry and community. We're so glad to have you. I have one last question and I'll let you get on with your busy day. Levon, if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? 
Welcome in. Well, when it comes to the Iowa tech industry, welcome in. So you have a wonderful day uh, and enjoy the new role at Come and Go. Thank you very much. At JetBlue, innovation is in our DNA. And what we love about the relationship we have with Nutanix is that innovation is also in their DNA. And when you bring those two things together, great things happen. Trek is really technology driven. Bikes are absolutely as technologically advanced as possible. And all of that is really driven under the hood. It's all being powered by Nutanix. Once we dipped our toe into the hyper-converged infrastructure platform, we decided, hey, this could be a great platform for our dynamic enterprise workloads in our data center. And so then we actually converted our entire data center to a hyper-converged infrastructure platform on Nutanix. And so now we run all of our dynamic workloads across it. The amount of time that I spend on any given day to maintain this infrastructure has now been cut almost to nothing. One of the biggest differences we've seen with Nutanix Enterprise Cloud is the ability to improve our work-life balance and make Wharton a more attractive place to work. The benefit of being hardware agnostic is that no matter which vendor I choose or which vendor gives me the best price in that moment, the software on top of it is always the same, so my procedures, my process of implementing doesn't change.